Hi, today I'm going to list the 10 best companies that you should have in your portfolio on the ZSC and the VFEX. Better yet, if you're new to trading, these are the companies you should start with if you're planning to test the waters. My friends and I investing on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange market and on the VFX gathered and we compiled a list of the best companies to own both as a value investor and as a dividend investor. If these terms are new to you, a value investor is somebody who buys a company at a low share price and plans to sell at a higher share price, realizing a profit. A dividend investor is somebody who buys a company and holds so that he or she receives dividends whenever they are declared. As we were compiling the list, we were looking at the following factors as characteristics of a good company. Number one, dividend yield. Number two, liquidity. Number three, ease of acquiring and selling. Number four, business type. And lastly, number five, just likability as an opinion. If your best company couldn't make it onto this list, please, let us know in the comment section below. Without much ado, let us dive into the ooey gooey stuff. On number 10, we have a total of four companies, which include CBZ, Econet, Kafka, and Caledonia Mining. We all know Econet is one of the largest telecommunications companies in the region. We also know CBZ, a bank which provides various banking and insurance services. We know Kafka, it is the only company that produces electrical cables in Zimbabwe. The fourth one is Caledonia, a gold mine. Some of these companies that I've mentioned here, like Kafka, have a very good historical dividend yield, but they could not rank a little bit higher on the list because they are difficult to acquire. Because we have had four companies occupying number 10, we are heading on straight to number six, where we have First Capital, one of the leading banks in Zimbabwe. Once known as the Barclays Bank, First Capital offers diverse banking services. It is a dividend yield of 3.66%. Hence, investors like First Capital as a dividend investment. Moving on to number five, OK Zimbabwe, the supermarket in wholesale and retail business. OK Zimbabwe has paid dividends in the past, but the frequency and price varies. Its main shareholders include African Investments Limited, Old Mucho Zimbabwe, and others. It is approximately 72 stores across the nation. You may also be happy to know that it owns more than three food lover stores. OK's ability to navigate and remain one of the biggest retailers in Zimbabwe over time has brought comfort to its investors who invest mostly for dividends. Number four, Simbisa Brands, a company that specializes in food services, formerly a division of Insco Africa Limited. It is the largest fast food restaurant operator in Zimbabwe. Its average dividend yield is 3.6%. In 2021, Simbisa opened 32 stores and 86 stores in 2022 alone. With a market cap of 66.4 million United States dollars when it delisted on the ZSE to migrate to the VFEX. Number three is almost obvious since likability is a factor. INSCO listed as INSCO Africa Limited, a manufacturer of consumer staple and durable goods for mass market through a portfolio of integrated businesses. The likes of National Foods, Qualcomm, Ivins, Nutpack, Profits, it is robust. With a dividend yield of 5.63, declaring dividends consistently, INSCO is a good dividend investment. Number two surprised me too. But again, likability is really subjective. Tigere rates. Would you believe it? The first real estate investment trust in Zimbabwe to be launched on November 3rd in 2022. It is the owner of the Highland Park Shopping Center, the Jinamano Corner, and the Borodeo Village Walk Properties. Affiliated with Terrace Africa Assets Management, investors like Tigere because of its prospects for growth. The rate is expected to double the size of the property fund in the next two years and reach a hundred million United States dollars within the next five years. Investors also like Tigere as a dividend investment for its consistency in paying out dividends so far, its simplicity and likelihood of longevity. The rate also declared an 80% payout of income as dividends 
on a quarterly basis. It is nice to know that all the real estate investment trusts are obliged to pay 80% of their distributable income to unit holders each financial year as per Zimbabwe's listing guidelines. The greatest rivals include Revitas, which was enlisted on the Zimbabwe stock exchange market in late 2023 but could not make it onto this list. Before getting to number one, let me take this opportunity to thank you for watching up to this point. It really goes a long way in motivating me as a content creator. This video was made on a collective opinion basis considering the factors that I've mentioned earlier on. So yes, this list could be different from yours considering that people have different perspectives, perceptions, and opinions. The number one company topping this list, you probably have guessed it right, Delta Corporation Limited which is principally an integrated beverage company. Like Insco, Delta has a diverse portfolio of its own with local and international brands in lager beer, traditional beer, Coca-Cola franchised, and alternative non-alcoholic beverages. You've got to love Delta. When a poll was made on which company you would invest in for both dividends and value, a resounding number selected Delta. Although Delta has a historical dividend yield of 5-7%, less than that of Kafka and other good dividend paying companies in Zimbabwe, more investors chose Delta as more likable, it's probably a drinks thing. But these investors cited market liquidity as Delta's strength. They also talked about the ease of buying and selling Delta shares on online trading platforms, making it a formidable force to deal with. It can also be noticed that the Delta share price historically has been relatively stable. Delta has also been consistent in paying out dividends, making it an extremely beautiful girl. Sorry, investment opportunity. So as I'm signing out, I will just show you the graphs of how the company is performed in terms of influencing perceptions of the investors. We have the orange color showing the number of people who selected companies they would invest in for capital gains. Then you can also see those who selected companies they would invest in mainly for dividends which are marked in blue. On this graph you can see Delta leading in both colors. So what I went on to do is to add the number of people who would invest in Delta for dividends and the number of uh, people would invest in the same company for capital gains. So when we add them, then get a graph which looks like this one, where you see Delta leading. It goes without saying, investing on the stock market in stocks always carries a risk and you should do your own research before you choose to buy a certain stock, a certain company. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon.